Hi, I'm Ben. Welcome to my channel. So I decided I wanted to build a box uh, to hold all my photography equipment and stuff. Um, and building a box isn't a big deal. It's pretty easy for most woodworkers, but I'm new to this, so I had some problems. Uh, so far, I've had some problems. Um, I actually got started, and I I did several things. You know, first of all, I ordered some foam, photography foam that you uh, can pull apart in little squares and and make it fit your exact equipment that you want. Um, and then I got that I got the dimensions from that, and from those dimensions, I put together a plan um, so that I would make sure I measured everything properly and all that stuff. Um, and then I um, went to the home store and I bought a, a sheet of half inch uh, plywood and cut that into the pieces that I needed and um, I sanded up the edges and uh, I, I, got a, I got a pocket hole jig and used that to, I drilled holes all around the different panels so that I could use that to join things up um, and then you know obviously I glued up the edges, um, used some some bar clamps, clamped it all up, uh, well clamped up the four sides of the box, not the top and bottom, clamped up those four sides and then you know I went inside to wait. And about 20 minutes later I decided I'd come back outside and um, you know take the clamps off and I was gonna start working on putting the the top and the bottom panel on and I discovered that I accidentally um, used two pieces of scrap instead of uh, the pieces that I had cut for the ends. Uh, they were both seven inches tall, but uh, the, the proper one was just a little bit longer than this one. But I wasn't paying attention and I grabbed these two and I glued it all up. Well. Don't underestimate the power of wood glue because after 20 minutes, man, it, it, it all, you know, tore it all up and stuff. Like you can see right, right in here where it tore it up when I tried to take it apart. And there I had to, so I had to pull, I, I tore it apart and pulled pieces off of it and kind of re-glued up the panels that I needed and uh, off camera I've gone ahead and I've drilled pocket holes and everything and I've glued and and I didn't want to worry about the camera and that kind of stuff while I was doing it I wanted to make sure I got it right and so I've, I've got the box put together uh, it's glued up the pocket holes are in and now um, and I went ahead and and well let me let me move the camera and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about so basically after I put the box together, um, then I, I went around with a circular saw and I cut exactly the, the height that I needed because um, I'm going to have a sheet of foam that goes here and I'm going to have another sheet of foam that goes here and another sheet of foam that goes here. So that needed to be at a particular height. And so I just cut that all the way around and I'm going to get a, a piano hinge to go along the back and the other hardware will go across the front. Well, as you can see, I have a different shirt on and I also have a beard. That means some time has passed. So um, basically what happened was every time I got ready to work on the box um, and I started thinking about setting up the camera and whatnot, I thought, oh, what a pain in the butt. I just want to get this thing done. So, I can't end this video without at least showing you what I've done, and uh, let's have a look at it now. So here it is. This is the crate. Um, I went ahead and I stained it, and I put a polyurethane on it. Um, I got this trunk hardware that uh, I really like. Um, I also put four corners, pardon me, eight corners on the trunk, uh, and on the back, on the back you can see that I have I have wheels and I have handles on each end uh, I can always pick it up on this end 
and roll it around on the wheels. Or I can have two people carry it, one on each end, because it is quite heavy. But let me have, show you how I have it set up inside. So I have a place for my tripod and uh, some shields for my eyepiece and for the front of my lens. This is a, a, a clamp that I modified so that you can put a camera on it and affix it to something. This is a package full of uh, camera clamps and assorted hardware that I use. Um, this goes here. I have a uh, boom microphone that I keep here and I have the handle to my tripod which here's the tripod head right here. Of course the spot for my camera and um, assorted little camera things that I need like my remote control switch um, this is my eyepiece these are the uh, wires that I use for my uh, wireless microphone just here this spot is for the battery charger but I'm charging a battery right now because I've got a shoot on Monday um, then what I did is I have these medicine bottles that I use for assorted things like the hardware for lights. I have batteries that just so I don't run out. Um, these are little eyepiece spacers that I use for mounting that. Some rubber bands and thumbtacks. Um, and then I have a couple, there's some uh, zip ties and I have some other, an, an empty spot here for something else that I'll probably use down the road. Um, this pad doesn't really have anything in it but it you can see the indentation well maybe you can't from where that camera is you can see the indentation from the top of the camera this indentation comes from that but it protects everything and that's what was so important because this isn't my camera it belongs to my boss and so I want to make sure I take good care of all this stuff um, and at some point if if she wants to get this equipment back or for whatever reason I can easily replace these uh, these pads and and customize them for whatever I, whatever camera I might get so but anyway that's it I uh, wish that I could have shown you all the process of finishing it up but uh, at least I got it done and that's pretty rare for me I don't always complete projects uh, as you might notice from my spaceship that I started and never finished. But anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back and see me. Bye.